we're here. I've got a ba ba ba. How do you beat a southpaw? Well, I used to struggle with southpaws. I got beat in the semi-finals on the Olympics of Ken Egan, who was a fantastic southpaw. But on this video, I'm going to give you a great combination. What I think is the best combination for you to have success against a southpaw. Also, this works if you're a southpaw and you're fighting an orthodox boxer as well. My name is Tony Jeffries, Olympic bronze medalist boxer, former undefeated professional, seven times national champion, European champion. So before I get into my favorite combination, I wanna show you a few more combinations that work with a southpaw. The big thing when you are against the southpaw is what you wanna try and do is get your foot on the outside. So if my foot's on the outside of his foot, that puts him on the straight line for my right hand, my power shot. But if his foot's on the outside of my foot, then look where I am. I'm straight down that line for his left hand and also his hooks as well. So if you watch boxing fights against the Orthodox and Southpaw, you'll always see they're always trying to compete against getting that foot on the outside. So you want to definitely be doing that. Then the combinations that are good for a Southpaw. So the first one is just a basic double jab to the body. So we're here, ba, ba, to the body. But as I'm throwing that two to the body, I'm going to step on the outside as well. My foot might be on the inside when I'm throwing that double jab, but as I throw that cross, I'm stepping, Boom, throwing that, taking my head off the center line. Then from there, I want to pivot out and get away. So a little bit faster, we're here. I've got a ba, ba, ba. Boom, moving around like that. Now, if I'm in with the southpaw who covers up when I'm, when I'm throwing the punches, I throw a one, two hook to the head there. His hands are going to come up. I'm going to throw that rear hook, kind of like a bolo to the body. So I will be a touch, 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 boom. Them touches are to get his hands to come up. Touch him upstairs. As soon as the hands come up, whack that body shot in as hard as you can. A little bit faster. So next one, number three, is I'm outside of range. Yeah, I'm gonna fast jab to the body. Bah! Fast jab to the body. Bah! This time I'm gonna faint that jab to the body. His hand comes down. Whoop hook, two over the top. A little bit faster. So we're here. Jab. Yeah, waiting for that reaction. The hand comes down and then you blast them with that hook. Two. It's important when you're throwing that hook too, you feint it, you step, and then punch. Step and punch. Now number four, my favorite combination ever to use against the South Pole that I've had so much success with. Guys, before I tell you this one, please subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Hit the like button, turn on your bell notification so you don't miss another video. If you've got any video requests that you want me to do, leave them in the comments below. So this one is more advanced, but it used to work and I used to love doing it. I used to practice on the bag, in sparring, on the mitts. And what it is, I threw a one, two, not even trying to hit him, just to get his reactions, one, two, then from there I'm gonna step the front foot out and do a pivot hook, change the angle, and then work in from this side there. So it'll look like this. <laughs> yeah, and that right there gets in the southpaw's head, keeps them thinking, when you're changing that angle, throwing them fast punches, throwing them hard punches. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you've got any questions in the comments below. Thank you for watching.